Alright, welcome on back to Kingdoms of Amalur. So last time we went through the tutorial area. We fought a troll. Found out that we're a dead person. But we're not a dead person in our body. Apparently this isn't our original body. What the hell is that? Oh, that's fucking dope. Giant rats can get fucked. Oh, yeah. Ooh, pick lock. Move and adjust. And then hold the Okay. Good iron sword. Oh, that's a cursed chest. I remember those. there oh yay Fifth. Right, spell what do we got to do sensors above the glyph to break it or reseal after a time missing all of them reseal they reseal faster so be careful in the order you break them. that's what's up ah oh, man it, uh. Why is it always that I get shit for the class I'm not playing? Hmm? Riddle me that, Batman. Oh, okay, we got some more water. Hey, there you go! Game heard me talking shit. Be quiet, John. We'll give you something. Thanks. Thanks guys. Protection. Fair. Can we sneak up on him? Hell yeah, we can. We didn't do shit for damage. Oops. I whiffed that. That was so bad. No, you don't. Ah! Bolts to the face! You! I remember you. You're. You're the one? How did you come back? How did you find me here? What do you mean? When I saw you with Ensel in the well, I ran. But it wasn't because I was afraid. I was coming to report that Hughes's experiment had succeeded. The Well of Souls is bigger than just one gnome's pet project. Word. My contact pays well for information about its progress. I just send reports to make some money on the side. Oh, what? But I don't know how the Tawatha found out. This has nothing to do with them. I never wanted anyone to get hurt. I should kill him. But, but, why? Oh, he's a... Feisty little bugger, isn't he? Ooh. Fuck you, Garan. The Tuatha tracked us down because of you. His ability to hide secrets. Shit. In the water. Yeah, there's one under the tree root. Huh. 
Nice new longbow. Before I forget. If I remember correctly, wolves are annoying as hell. Didn't hit shit fast enough. Got him. Hell yeah, with the charge. Broken box. Stone candle mines. Okay. Fast travel. That's cool about fast travel. Let's not worry about that right there. It's just open. What? It's a pretty game, man. Sometimes you just gotta stop to admire it. You know what I mean? Keep an eye out for traps. Okay. How the fuck? Oh yeah. See, sneaking wouldn't have saved me around them at all. But how do these guys look at all know where I am? Did some that back and forth did some damage, but Let's jump point down this path. Hard unlock. Yikes. Not hard. Sword, scepter, and cloudy shard. Okay. So they gave me a one. Ah, look at the mini map. It says no. Sorry. I like oh god. Oh, they already know I'm here. Okay. Pick me up on them. Ah. 
Oh, I can't get out of that. Definitely thought that one guy was dead. And then he stabbed me. And I keep on muting the mic because my allergies are going nuts. So you're going to hear some scratch in the back. Ah, I can't really spoil leather. One more point in penis. Okay. Preemptively do that. goes. Whew. I don't think I'm supposed to be in here. Somewhere in here. Holy moly. Hey, what a pain. Powering leggings. Let me guess. Oh, I can wear this. Okay. Is there a way to. Yeah, that's right. And then we can just sell everything off that we don't want. Power. Oh, these are the magic shields. Yeah. Oh, we don't need to go through all these right now. We'll get there. This cave is good, though. Whatever. Crossweave hand wraps. More magic. 
level eight sorcery. Huh. Quarter of ash prepared and chain armor like a standard starting kit for apprentice spellcasters. Nice. Well, I think this guy's gonna go a little magic, a little rogue. Because I think the poison teleporter was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. But I never really got to mess around with it. There's always something I wanted to play with, but I usually play warrior, bonk. Now I want to play rogue. Try something different. Let us go father. So much stuff to do with such a small little area. You've come from the tower, haven't you? Name's Agar. Maybe you can help an old fate weaver, eh? Well, Hughes sent me to Did find he? you. Poor old Fomerus Hughes. He respected the way the world works. What a shame. He's probably dead by now. The cards told me that the Well of Souls would work. But Hughes's success would come on the day of his death. He took it pretty well, honestly. Although we did a lot of drinking after that. I suppose I could spare a little ah, thank you. in memory of Hughes. Or in celebration of his success. Whichever. You. You're the one. Then that means... It all makes sense now. The cards this morning. I drew the Grave Digger, the Running Man, and the Beast. Prepare yourself. They're coming. Oh boy. Look, assassin. They look like me. Old X. Okay. I'm trying, but they're... There we go. Aren't I supposed to kill all of them or something? There we go. I got stuck. Oh, they changed the key. What? How? What are you? The threads of fate. I've seen them before, but I've never seen anyone manipulate them like that. You just changed how the world was supposed to work. How did you do that? You just... Fate is the will of the gods. No mortal should be able to change it. How is that even possible? I don't know, man. Just Come cool. here. I'm going to do a reading. You might be able to change the threats, but fate will still have a plan for you. I promise not to tell you if I see your death. That would be my guess. He was an academic, but he had a proper respect for fate's plan. Unlike most gnomes. Fine. You're nervous. Relax. This is what fate weavers do. Mm. I'll be seeing your place in the pattern of destiny. Who you are, what you've done, where your path takes you. Or, at least, I should be. You're real, right? I swear I haven't had that much... Fate's weave is always hard to see. It's in motion, hard to make out, but undeniably there. Yours is just... missing. This doesn't make sense. All mortal creatures have a place in the pattern. You should have one too, dead or not. I'm special, this bro. This is true, and I'm not saying I believe it. Then your path is yours to determine. Yeah, rogue. 
Ranged attack, piercing damage. Yeah. It could mean nothing. Or it could mean everything. The world is changing. You might be a sign of that. Or maybe the cause. I've never had a reason to doubt my own readings. But we should consult with Arden. He's not a friend, but he's got a good eye for the tapestry. I'll meet you at his home to the east. I'm going to see if I can be of any help to the wounded at the tower. Okay. What could this all mean? Who the fuck knows? Let's get some more stuff sorted out. Uh, that is a DLC, which we will be going through all later. The songs in halls of lore, there Daggers echoes blood none blood. more grand than Olaine's many feats of might, the pure and lady of the light. She is a knight of golden knot. She is the cure seeker, the conscience of the summer fay. She is the heart of spring, of day. If I remember correctly, too, that special delivery thing is like a bunch of DLC items, which we are not going to touch. I don't want to become overpowered within five seconds of playing the game. Let's take a minute to relax and enjoy Everyone this adventure. Back. The warden can't work when you're crowding so close. Well, I'm going to crowd. Go back to your business. Go on. I don't care what you race. It's a tragedy whenever anyone's savage like this. Just look at the poor creature. She's been beaten to the brink of death. The Fae may be strange, but they certainly don't deserve this. What happened? It appears she was attacked with some manner of short blade. Likely a dagger, although there's no way I can be sure. People simply stood by as she called for help. No one lifted a finger. Can you imagine? It's shameful to treat another in such a way, even if she is a fae. I don't know whether we possess the knowledge to treat such a wound. Frankly, I don't even know if I could save a mortal with such grievous wounds. Well, you're the only one. With all the troubles we've suffered in this village, people are weary of adversity. They'd rather just ignore it. Mm. I'm going to suggest something a bit... Uh, untraditional. There's a fae named Eri. She spends her days up on the hill overlooking the village. Seek her wisdom. I would do it, but I am a coward. <laughs> That's the truth. At least he's honest. Perhaps a fay will know how to heal a fay. If not, then we're back where we started. Bye now. Over top of the hill. There's other quests. And there's shops. Let's get some of this crap out of our inventory. I'm gonna keep those gloves. Just in case. Nah. We're gonna go double. Alright. I wish there was a fast ad button. You know, I'm gonna keep that scepter. On the off chance we need to burn something. Let's go sell real quick. We'll go grab that other marker. Welcome. Okay. Ah. Welcome to Gorhart, the last settlement before the Feylands. How can I fill your pack today? Oh. So my chunk. For a thousand gold. So she's got erosive daggers. Armor. Party ring, a backpack for seventy five hundred gold. Goodbye. I know there's gold dupes and leveling exploits. There's a lot of them in every game. I'm just not gonna do them.
That's the DLC chest, which we are going to steer clear Cut of. Cut down the brothers of St. Odwigs. Only when they fall to Earth will they realize they are not above us. Mitharu does not dwell. Welcome to St. Odwig's perpetual mission. I would invite you in, but the Order has been too trusting in the past. We try to learn from our mistakes. Although, one never knows what might be a test of faith. You have arrived just when I am in need of aid. So perhaps Mitharu is at work. What do you need, Father Dinwell? We at St. Odwigs have worked for years to establish a presence on this hill. It's not been without its challenges. The call of the Feylands does not fall upon deaf ears, and many of our youngest don't have the will to resist. Take Brother Egan, for example. Two nights ago, Egan ventured past the walls to collect firewood and never returned. We must find him before anything happens. All right, let's Mitharu go get Egan. Be praised. His order reigns supreme. Brother Egan was last seen northeast of here, just off the road near the Fey Ruins. Please find him. Perhaps then we can welcome you into the fold with open arms. All right. May Mitharu protect you. Stay what is the mission hiding? Why are its gates forever closed? These are the questions we all should be asking. Do the half-truths of these wise men exhaust you as they do me? I have listened to their prayers for too long. There are other voices to... Okay, be heard. so we're going to that one on the left. Ah, uh, it's a pretty game, guys. It's a very pretty game. I love this art style. What's up there, Moose? Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, bugger. Oh, he sees me. Pretty sure that bear's moving in on my position, too. Nope, just another bogger. Fuck out of here. Oh, a couple boggers. know if what the Fae say about these stones is true, but if it is, well, this is just too good to not save forever. Lystrom was out of town when Artol was visiting. Now, Lystrom doesn't know Artol, and Artol is older and strange. She could be mistaken for a fate weaver. So, when Lystrom came back to town, here was Artol the Oracular. I said to Lystrom, I hear her readings are amazing. You should go. <laughs> My, you should have seen it. A rooster, she said, will change into a man, and this man will become your lover. He will provide for you, and he will make you laugh, and he will make your life exciting and easier. But, and this is something you can never forget, he must never eat chicken. <laughs> and once in a while, you will need to peck at things on the ground, and every morning at the break of dawn, you'll hear a loud cry from him. <laughs> I, I, that was that must have been a joke. Oh god. Okay, we're getting mobbed. We broke that wolf. He's coming. Nah, I couldn't get the shield out. Tried. Just gotta remember this game's more about timing than button mashing. Oh, see, I'm trying to touch it. Nice. So if we counter them, they get lit on fire with that elemental shield. That's what's up. Good to remember.
Nah. So close. We got it. Ooh, an experience booster. Hmm. We'll talk to Aerie. May your hollow gods keep you mortal. I am called Airy. Your face is new to me. You are different from those in Gorhart. They amuse me, and I strive to learn all I can from them. Have you come to ask about the Tuatha? I can offer only what I know, and hope it will suffice. Yes, Faye's been injured. Witnessed this crime, although I did not recognize the one who perpetrated it. It is often difficult to distinguish one mortal from another. The victim was Eluvia, but I knew her only by name. You must be hoping that I can offer advice, but I cannot. If she is meant for the Great Cycle, then so be it. However, I would be quite interested to find out whether one of my kind would benefit from one of your mortal remedies. I've always wondered. It will need to be powerful. Your delicate forms are far more sensitive than ours. In fact, it's astounding that you survive as long as you do. Where can I Perhaps find your one? Mortal apothecary can provide one. You can always create the potion yourself if you possess the skill. I do not, but I'll go look in that well. shop for one. What's that? <laughs> oh, me a joke, little guy. Well. Believe it or not, guys, we are actually out of time. So we are going to wrap things up here before we go any further. Tune in next episode. We will get on down there to the apothecary. We're going to go try and figure out the uh, mystery of the stabbing. I hope to see all you guys then. If you're enjoying it, like, share, comment, subscribe, all the fun YouTube stuff. Have a great day.